Hi dearies, welcome back to my channel. This is Abby Wedge. Today I'm going to show us how to make this beautiful flower crown. Let's get started. Here is um, my stay, a thick one I'm going to use for these stones. Here is my millinery wire. Then I'm going to use this um, to cut out my shape of the wire. Here is my um, UHU, my candle glue and the gun. Here is the stones I'm going to use. And uh, my wire 0 0.50. Then here is the nets. Mesh nets or you can call it veil nets. So that's what I'm going to use them. Um, my fishing line 0.50 um, and the beads, these are pear beads. So I'm going to use it for it. So first of all, I'll take my wire and just wrap it around this um, a mold like this. Then twist it around it make sure it's firm to take that shape a circular shape you can use any kind of shape you can use a cover of um, um a bottle water bottle anything round whatever you want you can use so you can see it this is what i have it's not very visible sorry because of the um background there so i'm just noticing that I hope you can see it very well now. Now I will simply take one of it and trace the middle, the midpoint, and bend it like this to in form of a, a triangle. Then I will place my two fingers at the down part to expand it. It will look like um, a leaf, a leaf kind of shape. Thereafter, I will bend the upper um, part, that um, triangular part, bend it forward like this. Can you see that? This is bending forward. I repeat that process again. Just bend here like this. Then place your two fingers inside and expand the middle downwards, the down part of it, like a love shape. It's just like a love shape. And bend here forward. Can you see that? Then I'll take my net, I double it. If the net is very thick, you can use it without doubling it. So this my net is very light, so I decide to um, double it. So I'll just place the wire inside. Then add some glue at this down part here. Then fold the net to cover it up like this. Then just arrange it kind of and pull it together like this. Thereafter, I will just twist it round and use my um, thread to tie it up, make sure it's firm. While I continue with that, I would like to thank specially those who have been supporting us, those who have subscribed to my channel. Uh, in fact, you are the best. You are the best. I love you all. Thank you so much. And I hope that you have been enjoying all that we've been giving to you. Uh, you, have, you feel free to drop any comments down, whichever way you know we can improve and serve you better, just let us know. And to those who have not subscribed yet and those who are just joining us, you are in the right place. So all you need to do is just to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell in front of it so that you can always get notification anytime we upload videos. Okay, so here is it. Can you see that? I will just um, repeat the same process again by making another one again. This is every world. Here 
are there i'm done with them so i'll simply go ahead now and start um, gumming my stones to that um stay the hair stay i told you so all i need to do is to add some glue to um the stay then i'm forming them in in a um, circle of six each so as i add the first glue i dropped three of the stones then add another glue and um, add the other three to make it um, a circle I'll just go ahead and cut them out in circle thereafter i will just use my needle to pierce a hole at the um, middle the midpoint of it then i will just um, pass my um, fishing line the one i cut just um, not too long then i will add some glue there to make sure that this um, patch this um, stone um, stone um stay doesn't go down so thereafter i will add one pair beads then use the glue again to stop it there i'm adding two beads after um the group of stones so i'll add another one at the tip again then add the last bead to it just to make it so just to embellish it more embellish the um crown the flower crown so you can use anything you can decide to do it like that without adding this but i choose to do it like this okay so here is it then i will just simply add it um add pick one of it and add to the um one of the petals then i will use my thread to tie it frame just um, tie it right there and secure it then i'll arrange them they are going to be in circle of five each so i'll place it on top of it can you see this place i'll make sure that it's coming out so i'll tie it again and pick pick the next one place it here like this you can see it's on top the one is coming on top of it can you see that then I'll tie again till I go around till I have my complete five in that um in that same um, particular set. just um, kind of um, arrange it like this to make sure everything is in order you can see it's going in placing on top of each other like this
can actually see that this um, next group I'm adding um, glue to it so there are two ways you can do it the first one whereby when you um, add one petal you tie when you add one you tie or you do it this other way when you add one you just um add some glue to secure it then when you finish putting everything together then you can then tie them I'm done I will simply cover the bottom with my bias but if you have um this same um, tape this um flower tape or flourish tape you could use that so I don't have that at my disposal at the moment so I decided to use my bias to just cover it is is the same um color good color with the flower so it goes perfectly well with it so I'll just um wrap it up so this very point then twist it round the bottom of the um, rose here and cut it out. This is every world. I'm done with them. Wow, they are looking nice already. Can you see the bottom part? Now I'll simply cut this my wire. I'll cut some um, uh, the shape of this um, same hairband. So once I finish cutting, I'll just twist the um, flower around it. Remember, you know that it was um, wire we use in making the um, roses, so it will be easy to um, twist around the millinery wire. So I'll just twist like this. Till the wire is exhausted then I will keep twisting and adding more make sure all of them face up or face you depending on where or how you want it to be so I'll just keep adding and twisting till I'm done is it wow so i will simply go ahead now and add glue at this and back side of it then place it on top of the hairband like this press it down and start tying it with my bias strip after using bias to tie it i will also use um thread to tie it as well so it can be firm so that bias will also help to cover up the wire wow our flower crown is ready isn't this amazing you could make this for yourself for personal use you could make it for a bridal shower or a baby shower for pre-wedding photos you can also make beautiful one like this for a bride for wedding white wedding you, in that case you have to make them um, either silver or white to match with the bride's outfit this is lovely have you learned something new today if yes please don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel okay and stay tuned for more creative videos i love you bye from every word